Hi, you're uh, online with uh, Luke here from 2IC on the Prosperity Show. And uh, we're discussing today how we're going to um, design, develop your app and, and take you through a journey on uh, taking your app from an idea that uh, could be a multi-million dollar idea uh, through to market and, and make sure that you have a great experience along the line. Now, welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've got none other than Luke. Look how are you doing, my man? I'm doing great. How are you? Great stuff. Now, Luke is the owner and founder of a company called 2IC. They're a software company that specializes in designing and the development of web uh, mobile applications for companies and organizations. Did I say that right, uh, Luke? Yes, absolutely. You've got it down to a T. <laughs> Great stuff. All right. Tell us a little bit about what you do and what your day-to-day -day activities uh, include for your customers. Yeah, sure. So um, our customers range from anyone from like a singer, um, a PT trainer doing bookings, etc., up to large-scale organizations, which um, basically, uh, yeah, looking for a solution with a mobile application that can fit for either them and their clients or their staff. Um, it can be anything realistically, but uh, you can build a tool for anything. Great stuff. Obviously, everybody has gone mobile and everybody else has, um, is using sort of all these mobile applications. How important is it for business to be mobile in this day and age? Oh, wow. Well, um, <laughs> from my point of view, uh, extremely, not just because it's my business, but um, you just look at, uh, walk down the street, simply just have a look at people and nine times out of 10, you'll see the hands are looking at the mobile phones, right? Um, and most statistics out recently uh, by a lot, a lot of um, big people in the industry are saying, look, if you're not there, you're missing out on, you know, possibly up to 80% of your market um, uh, for a business, you know. So uh, especially if you're selling something online, um, it's absolutely key to, to being in the market uh, is I couldn't say more, <laughs> you know, you still get to be right. excited and you go, well, why don't you have one? I know they're a little expensive, but yeah, you know, they can generate so much more for you, you know, realistically. Uh, yeah. And, and you can do anything with them. You know, a mobile application is the same as desktop software. It is an application for you to do something at functional, etc. So great stuff. So besides just connecting um, with, you know, if you're a business connecting with your clients using the mob, uh, mobile application what else is, is 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 relevant what else what else is increased by having an app as a business person um productivity uh streamlining processes is definitely a key one um we're uh, having a look at something with, with a uh, physio group at the moment um where they can streamline their interactions with their clients and everything so it can all be sort of off-site as well as you know those one-on-ones those one-on-one -on -one appointments can be a little expensive sometimes as we all know um and yeah so they're looking at another avenue of streamlining um you know their communication between them and their clients uh so that's definitely one streamlining processes obviously sales e-commerce um that's definitely something that you know is big uh or uh, anything even to a courier company that are doing tracking systems and they want their own private network you know where they go you know what we need communications tracking all that sort of thing um you know, it's definitely doable. Uh, anything is doable. Great stuff. Okay, so, you know, um, having talked to you a little bit earlier, you, you did mention that your business has six processes when somebody starts working with you. The first one, you know, just being the, the project starts and then you go to the design and then you maybe figure out the HTML version of your app and then yep. create a CMS template and approval stage. And then yep. you are also offering 24 hour support. Now walk us through, you know, in detail how you mm -hmm. actually help somebody, you know, from start to finish, just in case somebody's watching, they want to know what sort of process they'll be going through. Yeah, sure. But so you take it from um, sitting down with the client, uh, going through what it is they're actually wanting to find a solution for, uh, whether it be e-commerce, uh, sales, uh, streamlining process, whatnot. And you can, then obviously I go away, sit down with my developers, go through the design idea and then come back to the, the client with the proposal. Um, from there, we, we built an online dashboard. So it's, it's like a secure portal in which you can um, manage the app. If we use a, a house as an illustration, uh, you build a, 
build the structure for you, like we build the structure for you uh, with your application, and uh, you can change your furniture around as you like. Um, so we do that similar sort of thing with that secure portal online, as opposed to a complete standalone application where it is what it is. You can't change it. You might be able to get some statistics off it, but otherwise, uh, yeah, it, it basically is how uh, you know it gets built in the first place. So there's no no manipulation with it, which a lot of clients are looking for, which is why we build that uh, that CMS first and foremost. So get that right. Great stuff. All right. So obviously, in in the whole app uh, game. Um, yep. We've got contenders like Android and we've got contenders like um, iPhone, um, the App Store. How, yep. What is important for somebody to know? Do you just have to have one particular version of the app or do you need all of them? And how do you help customers make that um, yeah. uh, uh, decision? Absolutely. Um, good point. Um, something I should have addressed earlier, but definitely you actually do need, um, there's a lot of software out there that will build you like a, a hybrid where it's, um, they build the design and it goes out to both stores, your Android and iOS. Um, the difficulty with that is there's a, been a lot of clamp down on, on that sort of uh, software, uh, especially from Apple. And so therefore we always look at um, giving the customer the best um, both financial outcome because I don't obviously want to um, buy five lots of the same app, so to speak. And we build that online CMS, like I said earlier, um, so that they can manage both, um, both your Android and I iOS. Um, but then we do build a native version of each of those apps so that they are genuine applications uh, that go out to both of those stores. And yeah, basically they, they really need to figure out, and that's why we have a strategy session with them to start with, that design process uh, as to where's their, their target audience. If it's uh, e-commerce, you really want to go both. There's, you know, you don't want to limit yourself to either iOS or Android. Um, someone recently said to me, oh, I've heard Android costs more because there's, you know, all different sizes of screens and whatnot. And whereas in my experience, it's actually uh, the other way around um, because iOS or Apple have specific ones for iPads. Um, if we were to build one for an iPad and a, a phone, we actually have to build two versions. Um, not that it takes a whole lot to build that extra version uh, from our point of view, um, but it definitely is doable. Whereas we, we still maintain the prices the same. We don't charge people extra because they want it on an iPad as an option. So, Great stuff. Obviously, I mean, Apple is always um, innovative and also Samsung, I mean, Android, they're always um, innovating their products and their interfaces and also their operating systems. Now, how yep. do you keep up with your customers' demand for a better version of an iPad, of, 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 a, of, a, of an app so that yep. it matches, um, you know, what the current market is for their customers for, you know, you, you user friendliness? Yeah, absolutely. So look, um, we really try and find out right from the get-go exactly that, that um, user interface, the, the design experience uh, from the customers. That has to be key. That is to be the first thing we look at, uh, regardless of how we build the foundations, um, the code, so to speak, uh, for the applications. They've got to understand what it's going to look like for a customer, how they want to update it. And that's where, we're, like I said earlier, we, we implement the CMS, the online um, portal, um, so that those few little things can actually be tweaked from time to time and you know, just give it a slightly fresh look uh, without actually having to do a full update on the application. Um, Obviously, depending on the amount of features, if you do want to go, oh, I've come across this great new thing that I can put in on my app, absolutely awesome. But yes, of course, we're going to have to go and have a look at the structure of the house, so to speak. Go, well, you're wanting to add four more rooms on. We've got to put, put the rooms in there and then you can decorate them how you like. Um, so yeah, just really depends. Cool, yeah. Okay. So obviously, I mean, that's, that's all good and well and safe. Now, somebody might be watching this um, look and is probably thinking to themselves okay maybe my business is not in need of a um of an app and you just told me a little bit earlier on that you've 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 done an app for a singer what sort of businesses would benefit from having a mobile app installed for their um you know for their business yeah um at the moment there seems to be a fair demand on um the medical uh practices not necessarily just a gp but uh anyone from like your physio, Cairo, uh, and all that, especially some of the ones that are getting into having multiple sites uh, for bookings, that is uh, definitely key. And sound of a bookings app sounds very simple. Um, and it can be, 
but at the same time, um, just like any uh, pro athlete that makes something look easy, there's a lot of work that goes in behind the scenes to be able to get to that point. Um, and, you know, we're more than happy to make something look beautiful, streamline it and everything like that. But obviously, we're going to take the time to actually get that code right to make sure you don't have any bugs, issues, etc. We always, you know, get rid of those. Um, so, sorry, back to your question. Yeah, it, it realistically seems to be a lot of those um, medical professionals, um, psychologists, physios, you know, um, th those big uh, chains tend to be interested recently. Uh, and although, yes, we've got a singer, um, she, she tends to be a bit of a hub for a lot of singers uh, and communication for people looking for singers um, throughout Brisbane, which is part of the reason why we've uh, looked at building this reservation system for her and, uh, and creating a really unique way of doing a reservation booking um, that streamlines the whole process and the client then gets a notification back within half an hour if they're not available as to who is going to do it for them instead of them waiting an entire day trying to get someone on the phone, um, you know, back and forth. Uh, yeah, experiences like that. Good stuff. Now, obviously, statistics say that in just over three years, look, um, there's been over 20 billion apps that have been downloaded between the iPhone platform and the Android, you know, devices. And it's actually predicted that um, that is going to rise, um, uh, especially after 2017, to over 300 billion. Now, what Absolutely. is it that you you do for your customers so that when their customers download an app, it's not just yet another app in their phone. Yep. Yeah. So obviously um, one of the key things, and I actually popped this on Instagram just the other day, I should be following up on that, shouldn't I? Um, but uh, where we did a promotion um, that they will also receive six months of uh, free um, marketing. Uh, realistically, it, it's all about the way you market your apps um, as to whether it's going to work well for you or not. Um, not naming names, but there is a big uh, uh, company. Uh, uh, you know, otherwise I'm, I'm going <laughs> to narrow it down too much. But there's a big company that actually um, decided they'd test an app uh, for one of their particular sites. So they named it very specifically to that site, um, and I asked them how they went with that. So yeah, th this particular company only had about a hundred downloads, and I said, "So what do you think went wrong? Realistically, you've you've gone to a particular um, developer, uh, may have spent." Oh, you can get one of those uh, really cheap versions that they really, they won't work well. And I say that from experience because I've actually used them before um, for just a few thousand. Um, but if you'd gone to someone directly that builds the code, uh, you're looking at, you know, 15 to 20,000 plus. And if you're spending that sort of money, I said to them, so what went wrong? Oh, we don't know. And I said, do you know what it was? I said, it was the focus that you had on your application. Um, you were just trying to make some sales out of it, but your business, although you do make sales, your revenue comes from servicing, uh, you know, what it is that they sell. Um, and so I said, your focus was completely wrong. It should have been on servicing, booking those things in to use a, as an example, say an electrician who does air conditioners. Build an app that streamlines the, the process for the clients that they have coming back to get their air conditioning serviced all the time, as opposed to missing calls, trying to call back and playing phone tag. If they've got an application that pops up and says, hey, your uh, air conditioner is ready for a service. It's due in the next two weeks. Would you like to choose a date? Right. Click a date, click a time, you know, press book. And of course, that's then linking back to the internal system for that particular electrician. And therefore, they're not double booking. There's no, uh, this person took a phone call and this person took a phone call and booked them in at the same time and then they have to reshuffle everything. Everything's digital, all booked in, on calendars. You're not going to overlap. So, yeah, you know, streamlining processes that, uh, that uh, can have errors is a really big one for us. Great stuff. Well, so you could be watching right now and you, you know, twiddling your thumbs and, you know, trying to figure out if an app is the thing for you. I have one thing to tell you. All your customers are going mobile, right? So don't get left behind. Get an, a custom mobile app uh, from the guys at 2IC. Now, look, somebody might be watching this right now and they, you know, considering to actually get started on getting a mobile app. Can they get a hold of you? Absolutely. Look, um, we're on Facebook, Instagram, on our website, of course, as well. Uh, our LinkedIn page hasn't gone up yet. Uh, LinkedIn are having a couple of issues with uh, creating our company page, but that's all right. We're still in, in talks with them to try and fix that. 
Um, but look, our website realistically is probably the easiest form for anyone. Uh, 2IC, spelled T-W-O-E-Y-E-S-W-E, uh, .com.au. If you go to the contact form, it then generates an email, sends it straight through to us. And um, normally we're back to you within a few hours, if not the, the following day, if it's late at night. Uh, excuse me, I do have to get a little bit of sleep, otherwise I'm going to be no use to you. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, so yeah, realistically you can do that. And either we, we do these um, video calls like we're having uh, here with you. Um, I've done some to the US and, uh, you know, those, uh, those particular clients have got a few more things to get into place before they go ahead with their app. And, uh, and that's something we even suggest. If you're actually not ready, we're not the sort of company that's going to go, oh, just buy it anyway. You'll be right, you know, and, get, and we take all your money. Look, really, we want you to have a good experience in the industry because there have been a lot of bad names out there. And, uh, and we want to take people away from that and, you know, create a journey with our customers, you know, hold the hand, so to speak, and take them through that journey take their product to to market and make sure that it does well for them. Absolutely. Well, you know, if you're, like I said earlier on, sitting on the fence and really uh, not sure about that, the guys at 2IC will be able to develop your mobile apps into uh, on the most popular uh, platforms like Android, Windows, and iOS. And they're actually passionate about turning your ideas into real world um, you know, uh, changing apps. Now, if you have been watching this and um, feeling, um, you know, the edge to start your own app, get in touch with the guys. They will be more than um, helpful. Like Lucas said, their contact form will turn it into an email. Thank you so much, Luke, for your time today. You're more than welcome. Thank you for your time. Understandable. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, really, really enjoy doing this. I'll be honest with you, this is the first time I've actually done something like this other than, you know, use this for, uh, for client uh, strategy sessions. This is, I'm like, oh, how am I going to go? <laughs> nah, you did well. We're just really talking about your business. Your...